Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day on the EAFC 24 game and another market crash. This time brought to you by Road to the Knockouts, team number two. But what stings the most about this one is it happened on a day where we were expecting prices to actually go up because of that foot champs weekend league demand that we were waiting on for the past week or so in this game. Guys, EA can't keep doing this. They probably will. So what do we even do in this market? We're going to talk about that today and, of course, break down all the content that could be upcoming because there's some big SBC leaks which did partially impact the market and the panic yesterday. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and, of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over the content from yesterday because there were a lot of SBCs starting off with the player SBCs early before the real content drop even happened. We had two player of the months, the first one being the best value, in my opinion, of a player SBC that we got yesterday. Kubo, of course, not Jude Bellingham, but four star, four star, explosive, left footed. He's got all the alternate positions that you could maybe need to put him into a team. He's got great stats. Actually, if you compare him to like Rafinha and Rodrigo, guys, He's actually up there with those two as some of the one of the best right wings or center attacking mids in the La Liga. So really good links there. And the price for this is the second best thing. Only 45,000 coins for this Kubo. Kind of an emotional SBC. And you don't have to do them right away because like all player of the months, you do have 30 days to do them. So I'm a big fan of that Kubo. GG's EA. Uh, Santiago Jimenez, not a bad SBC if you run an Eredivisie side as well. A usable card and only 12,000 coins to do one squad. I think it's an 83 rated squad or 84. So very easy to do there for him. And then we get to Jonathan David, which honestly, this card right away looked a bit expensive to me. But I, I don't hate it. I just don't love it. Unless you're running a League One team, you know... If you are running a League One team, then it's probably worth it for you. The five-star weak foot's very nice. The high, high work rates, um, he would track back a bit on defense. You look at the shooting stats, 90 finishing, 91 attack positioning, great penalties. The dribbling is a little bit lackluster, but 90 heading and 94 jumping with 92 stamina. That's a, that's a pretty nice card, guys. It is pretty good. It does run a little bit expensive, though, 140,000 coins. So if it doesn't fit your team... Or if you're not a fan of Jonathan David or Canadian or something like that, then maybe you hold off on that because once again, at this early stage, putting your coins in a time of the game where coins are so king and so important on this game, I think a lot of people are kind of hurting for coins as well right now with the market, you know, doing the things that it is doing and prices dropping as much as they have dropped. I think I would steer clear of doing an SBC like that because that could just potentially drain some more coins off of your account unless you're a really big fan of that player or really want to do that SBC. That's the advice I'd give you right there. Now, the third or the fourth and final SBC we had yesterday, and in my opinion, the best because of the fun value and also the price, is the Team of the Week upgrade. Guys, it costs you 10,000 coins to do. I did it. Don't expect anything massive from it, right? Because a lot of these lower level team of the weeks, like maybe, you know, Heda or uh, Halilovic, Mafia, of course, all team of the week cards are 80 rated or above now. Uh, so you don't get any like 75 rated team of the weeks, which is kind of nice. But this SPC is just fun to do. And it's the same price as a discard in form, which a lot of people just did it from the club anyway. Um, as you can tell, fodder didn't really move yesterday. I think 82s went up a tiny bit. And 85s, since the requirements for this was an 83 rated squad with one 85 rated player, I do believe 85s did have a quick spike at content for this SBC, and then they went down. Fodder just really didn't move that much, but it's so easy to do that I think a lot of people didn't actually have to buy fodder. So I'm a fan of that one. That one was cool. Um, now let's go to objectives because we had a couple things there. One thing, really, a new player objective. It was Darmian, right? We mentioned that Darmian was coming. Didn't know whether it was going to be SBC or objective, and he did come in the objective section. 12 games is a lot. That's the only problem for this card. Uh, but Darmian does look decent. He's got a five-star weak foot, so a five-star weak foot player in SBCs and objectives. And he's got really high dribbling stats for a center back. He can also play right mid, but he can play right back. Uh, which I know some people would maybe be interested in fitting him in a Serie A team at right back. He does have pretty decent defending and physical stats, a little low on the strength. Also, 92 short pass with a five-star weak foot. He actually would be a pretty decent defensive midfielder if he could play there, or maybe you play him there in game. Lacking a little bit on the pace, and medium-medium work rates aren't the best. But 12 games, I think people see this and they're like, mm, that's not really the amount of grind that I would want to put in a card like that so that was our objective content yesterday and then going to the store we're going to talk about this in relation to the market a bit more we did have some new packs added the 10k pack is back never heard anything about the whole 
Um, Danish language glitch last week. EA never said a thing. I haven't heard anything about that. EA hasn't tweeted about it, so we'll see. But they dropped 50k packs, 45s, and 25ks once again. And I think they dropped more packs per day than they normally do, except for the 50ks. Those have been stuck on too. And then we had these packs right here, which honestly, guys, these packs look insane with like the pack design there. Like they look absolutely insane with the UCL kind of logo and stuff on there. A 175. K and an 85,000 coin pack. And here's where it gets interesting. Look at the pack probabilities for this 2,000 coin FC point pack. 15% chance of packing a UCL Road to the Knockouts player, which actually, that is up. Because before, that was only 12%. That is up to now 15%. That is a crazy, crazy high percentage, guys. These new cards that dropped onto the game yesterday, we're going to talk about them a lot in today's video. They are so supplied, and they are uber cheap, man. We talked about it in yesterday's video, right? EA looked like from the predictions that they were dropping a lot of cards in packs, and the predictions didn't look very good, so we all thought it was mid, right? We we're like, oh, Team 2 is going to be so bad. But then what happened was... EA juiced these cards like crazy. LR going from a 76 to an 86 with plus 10 on every stat or above. And he's 19,000 coins. Roma already won their first game of Europa League. So he's basically one win closer to a plus one inform upgrade already. And one to that second upgrade for getting out of the group. Um, this card is absolutely insane. Actually, guys, if you take a look at some of the highest uh, statistically rated players in the game... He has some of the most in-game stats. I think he's like in the top 20. He's only like 10 in-game stats behind Yaya Toure. I know it's a lot different card than Yaya Toure. And he's got high-low work rates, with th which throws some people off. He's not French anymore. He's Algerian. But that card for 18k seems ridiculous. Klaus is like 20,000 coins as well for a high, high right back in League 1. Insane card there. And one of the most cracked cards from the loading screen that we saw and knew was going to be coming, kind of. But when you look at the card stats, it's just amazing, is Joao Pedro. Now, he's not cheap. He's expensive. But they boosted his skill moves. Four-star, four-star. He has got, guys, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy, 90 positioning, 90 finishing, 94 dribbling, 95 agility. Guys, I mean, this is the second week of the game. And EA is boosting up some of these cards like crazy where's the power curve going i don't know where the power curve is going but with these insane upgrades on cards that are going to get live boosts i know the boosts aren't going to happen for multiple weeks down the line and maybe that's why ea is boosting them as much as they have been in these past two weeks which actually i commend ea for because honestly the road to the finals and road to the knockouts of years past did fall behind when we had these international breaks and times between champions league europa league and all the european competitions games but uh, these upgrades are insane. Like, GG's to EA because they boosted these cards. And also, it's nice to feel like you can pack a promo card or go and buy it off of the market. And it's really impacting the market a lot with how cheap some of these cards are. So we're going to talk about that more in a minute in relation to those cards. But let's talk about the market, guys. Why did everything not go as planned yesterday, right? I think there's a lot of reasons. And we have to actually go back before content drop to really talk about and look at why the market started tanking before we got to content, guys, there was really not that much panic on the market. As I said in yesterday's video, I wasn't expecting a lot of panic based off of the leaks. The promo team looked mid. Those predicted stats that everybody was assuming were going to be in the game. Um, I know they're predicted stats, but that was our expectation, right? It was just mid. It didn't look good. And then Foot Sheriff tweeted this. Beckham is coming as an SBC soon. Thoughts. And this was tweeted out and everybody started to go crazy at the, around the same time people also started finishing their weekend league and that started to bring extra supply to the market guys this is the first weekend of the new weekend league so we're still learning how that's going to impact the market every single week with those brand new tradable um 85 plus packs in a lot of the rewards as i try to find a way to my foot champs here which by the way is foot champs is not fun guys i'm one in three it is not a great start as it says here ultra competitive right there yeah, it's ultra competitive this weekend as everybody is trying to get the best rewards possible. But I think it's a combination of the Beckham SBC, which we'll talk a little bit more about at the end of this video. I know it's a massive SBC leak for this early on in the year. The weekend league rewards, those two things. And then also, guys, I really just think, and let me know down in the comments, 
How many coins do you have right now in this game? I've got 1.5 mil. My coin balance has been between like 1.3 to 1.5 in this past week. It hasn't been a good week of making coins with the market being as bad as it has been. I lost probably about 50, 60K yesterday trying to flip these cards. And I just wanted to get my coins out just now so that I could maybe go and flip some other things into Saturday. But I want to know how many coins you have because I also still feel like with the start of the way that EA has brought this game out, guys, we've had a lot of player SBCs. We've had a lot of SBCs in general, even though not all of them have been very good, it impacts the whole entire user base in this game when EA drops SBCs, even the upgrades like the Lone Icon and the Lone Hero. I think a lot of people do those just for the chance at packing something sick. So you've got the constant market drops where people have been losing coins over the past week or two on this game that they've been on the game like people were buying cards last week when they were first getting on the game and you know like you bought Rolfo for what 50 60k and now Rolfo is 15,000 coins probably gonna live in um ultimate team infamy forever as one of the craziest price drops in the early stage of the game we're gonna remember Rolfo for a long time that's for sure in the trading sense but I think it's a combination of the constant drops, plenty of SBCs, and the untradeable store packs that have been in this game more often than we've ever had before to start off an ultimate team that is really continuing to bring this market down. It just feels like right now that nobody has the coins to buy anything. And I think all those are the reasons, right? The Beckham, uh, the new weekend league rewards, and just a lack of coins in general, which hopefully that changes a bit after this weekend. Hopefully Foot Champs does allow people to make some coins and then go out and, you know, spend some coins in a team or do an SBC and buy SBC fodder. And then those prices move a bit. It just feels like this market right now is one-sided. That's the best way that I can think to describe it. It feels one-sided where it's all supply and not as much demand. And that's why the prices just keep dropping. And we were hoping that the, the demand would kind of flip the switch this weekend with Champs. And it really has not done that just yet. We have so much more supply still coming in so the question is will it keep going lower and to answer that in a one word response i will say yeah i honestly think that it is going to keep going lower guys based off of what the i saw yesterday um there's going to be some fluctuations here or there but one of the things i mentioned in yesterday's video was the promo team and the prices of it and since we have an insane promo team with boosted stats that are pretty crazy high like you're telling me this Di Maria with the five star skills, upgrade potential, seven play styles, including a play style plus, by the way, is 80K? Like, have you guys seen Fabio Carvalho, not Fabio, Ricardo Carvalho going up in price today? This guy exploded because everybody is running to the market to use this, uh, this uh, Di Maria card because he is so absolutely freaking insane and you know these cards are nuts guys and they're cheap and it's that combination as well that just continues to make me think that gold cards are going to be devalued except for some of the top tier meta once these crashes are done some of those can rebound a little bit but a lot of cards are going to maintain dr the dropping prices because guys these new cards are insane we're it looks like we're going to get maybe some good SBC content upcoming as well that's going to drain more coins uh that maybe ea is you know putting onto the game through the weekend league rewards this weekend honestly guys gold cards just seem to be dead on this game right i don't think i want to buy another gold card uh for the rest of this game unless it's for like a quick flip trade or something or other because this is honestly crazy alex morgan was forty-two thousand coins and is now 26k and people say she is one of the most overpowered strikers in the game on a budget with the finesse shot plus trade so crazy market drops i do think that it goes lower there could be some fluctuations today that we could trade in and out of my best advice to you is try to run as untradeable as a team as you can and honestly if you want to buy players for your team you're like nate rafael varan was 110k and now I've just got the coins to buy him or whatever the reasoning may be. I want to buy somebody for my team. I would just tell you, whenever you get on to play the game, buy the cards for your team, right? Um, and then use them for until when you're done using them. And then maybe you just sell them. You don't want to be buying and selling players like every single time you get on the game because a lot of times you're going to lose a lot in tax that way. Um, but I do think the market could drop further down today on Saturday and even tomorrow on Sunday with the content that could be upcoming and still more weekend league rewards, more store packs and stuff like that, um, you know, on tap. So it's crazy, guys. I know it's not at all what we expected, uh, but we did. in yesterday's video really warned that the prices of this promo team and how good they're boosted would have an impact on the market. And we got an insane team 
and they're cheap. Let's talk about content today a little bit because we have this leak. Guys, when's the Beck MSBC going to be dropping? That's the big question for right now. A, do we need to invest in fodder for this? And B, um, how is it going to impact the rest of the market? Because this is like a crazy, crazy early icon player SBC leak. I don't think this Beck MSBC is going to come out at, until at the very earliest tomorrow. Um, honestly, it still seems very early for an icon player SBC, but EA seems to be doing things earlier this year than in other years. So it does match up really well. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the Netflix documentary that just came out about David Beckham. EA is really, really smart with this, with this leak and this SBC coming soon. It's very smart of them to kind of play off of the hype of the Beckham documentary and all that is going on there. Um, this, this could be coming out again, like I said, either this weekend, maybe tomorrow, or it could be next week sometime, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere in there. That's kind of the time frame I would expect for this as it is leaked by Foot Sheriff. Now, some people are holding on to maybe a pretty crazy theory that Foot Sheriff leaked David Beckham, but actually he meant Jonathan David because they both have David, but I'm pretty sure that would not be the case. Um, that would be a big fraud moment if it actually was, and I would laugh pretty hard if it was. But I think a Beckham SBC is probably upcoming, especially with the things that we mentioned. So I don't think that's coming out for a hot minute, but other player species that could be incoming. Sheriff did leak a dynamic duo yesterday. Um, and this one actually is kind of cool. Jeff Eno, what a name. He's a five-star skill left mid in the League One. He does have a three-star weak foot. And these are predicted stats as well. So I don't know how much EA are going to juice these cards up. And then Henrique. It's kind of like um, the dynamic duos that we've had in previous years. It's a perfect link between those two players. And they would probably drop as a two SBC set. These cards are never that insane. Uh, so I don't expect them to be that, you know... I don't know if there's really an opportunity to invest here. If you look at League One players or, or Brazilians in the League One, like Marquinhos or something like that, you know, you add a Marquinhos into the mix with Jeffinho and Enrique, and you've got yourself potentially a squad with a lot of chemistry. Maybe you have to add in one more player, but um, these usually these SBCs don't move the market too much unless EA boosts them a lot. And this would be the card that I think most people would be interested in. They would need to add some playstyles, though, because this guy only has one playstyle. It is a good one, uh, but I think you would have to add some more to make that um, pretty meta. That could be today. I think there's actually a genuine shout for that being today. And that also could be an objective, so watch out for that. And then also, of course, we've already seen Darmian and Jonathan David. Guys, I'm really worried about this Diego Carlos. I know that I mentioned that, I think, in a previous video uh, this last week, but a Diego Carlos like that, it feels like every single year, we get the first Premier League center back SBC. It's always a good one, and it's one that everybody wants to do because so many people run Premier League teams. A Brazilian as well as a Premier League link as well for that Diego Carlos. Like a guy like Varane, maybe Virgil van Dijk, maybe Saliba, as we mentioned before, could really be in for another extra drop in price if they're going to continue to boost up these road to the knockouts really, really well. I know Diego Carlos has 67 pace, but... Guys, I mean, the boost that we've seen in this team have been pretty crazy. So don't sleep on a Diego Carlos, Bergwijn, or Hector Bellerin SBC coming out in the coming days. I would imag imagine we get all three of those um, in the next like week, right? Before next Friday when the Road to the Knockout promo would end. So I don't know when which days those are going to drop, but I'm a little bit worried specifically about the Diego Carlos. So probably just a player SBC or two today on this game. Saturdays are usually pretty quiet. Last week we had the Kudus. That was a pretty big surprise. Maybe a new store pack dropping today as well. Uh, I think last week we had like, what, a 275k pack. The pack that we didn't see yesterday was the one that had 80 players in it. Um, that one has yet to be released. And if that were to be dropped in the store, that could even mean some more coin drained off the market because of just how uh, crazy that pack would be. A lot of people would want to open it. Now let's talk about the market a bit really quickly to, sh to end this video off investing guys we just i just showed you a beckham sbc a lot of people are asking nate do i need to invest in fodder now i'm going to break it down in two simple things number one we have not had a ton of sbcs yet that require higher rated fodder a lot of sbcs have been what 83 84 85 rated squad requirements it's going to be coming a time where we need these 87s, the 88s, and the 89s because they're going to be requiring those higher rated squads. And yes, in the grand scheme of things, 87s under 10K are low. 88s under 13 are low. And 89s under 20K are very low. Like the first icon or player pick SBC, a hero SBC that comes out, probably going to push these guys up into the 20K range, maybe like 25K plus. That's the sort of investment opportunity that is here. 
It's more so of a question of when, because you don't want to go, you know, unassigned or even fill up your transfer list with cards like this and throw your coins away into a safe investment if in the meantime you could still maybe make some coins somewhere else. But I think right now a lot of people are looking for a safe investment because of the way this market has been. And it's just, it's not fun right now losing coins, trading meta cards, especially if you're actively trading the market a lot. So I think a lot of people are running to invest in fodder because of that. And there are some big SBCs that could be upcoming. So just to make it a little bit, I guess, careful with your investment or to make it a careful way of thinking of this, I would try to get these on bids, right? And maybe today around the content drop is a way that you can get those. If we don't get a good SBC today, like a one that really moves prices of fodder, I could see fodder dropping lower after Saturday into Sunday with squad battle rewards. Then maybe that might be your best time. But as always, 86 is at a certain price, 87 is at a certain price that I mentioned, probably under 7K, under 10K for the 87s, 88s for like 12. Actually, I kind of like those at 12K. That's pretty good there. And then 89s, maybe a bit of a longer term hold. Your 80, I would say the 85s to 87s have a higher chance of moving like in the next five days than an 89 rated card would just because of the SBCs that could be coming out. But I think it's not a bad idea to club sock some of this. And whether you want to hold it for weeks or whether you want to hold it for one week and just see where it goes with the SBCs that we get, fodder is not looking like a terrible, terrible investment. Now, as we've mentioned, price is going down a lot. One thing I do want to mention too is last week on Saturday, prices did go up, but there's a big difference between last week and this week because this week we have foot champs. Obviously, I want to show you Musiala's graph and just talk about a little bit of market today in relation to gold cards and the promo cards. Oh my gosh. 40k for Musiala, and it's probably just going to go lower. Last week, if you take a look at the graph, last week on Friday, Musiala was 70k. He dropped all night, Friday night into Saturday morning, and then early Saturday morning, 6 a.m. UK time, before a lot of people were waking up and getting back on the game to play, not even with foot champs at that time. Musiala went from 67k all the way back to 73. Now we have had much bigger drop. Look at look at this, <laughs> from 63k down to 40. Guys, I think there's going to be some cards today that have a bit of a spike in the morning today on Saturday, whether it be gold cards, out-of-pack specials, heroes, icons are probably the best place to trade right now. But if they haven't dropped at all in price, I'd be very, very careful. Um, but keep an eye on some of these cards. There could be some fluctuations today as people wake up on Saturday and want to play some games. There could be some movements there, even though everything is down, 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 and it's probably going to drop further in the next couple of days and in the week up ahead. There still could be some fluctuations from now and uh, into to mid time today on Saturday, where midday today on Saturday, where you could see some rises there. Also watch these cards because guys, these cards are very supplied, but everybody knows that the new, that the exciting, that the fresh faces of cards on this game have the most hype. So keep a close eye on guys like Lewandowski, um, if you're on a higher budget for sure, that Klaus card, I mean, I can't believe that Klaus is 20,000 coins. That is a crazy price for his card. And that could be a card that maybe goes up as people want to try him out today. This Sissoko card is very, very rare. And so is draw Pedro. So keep an eye on those, keep an eye on Acuna. And, um, these guys might fluctuate a bit today, but they're probably going to drop a little bit lower into the later part of the day on Saturday. I'm not looking at these, especially with three weeks to go until more champions league games for investments, for a hold, more so just for a quick flip trade. And if you want to try them out today, they might be rising into the midday UK time today and then dropping as we get towards content, right? Usually, kind of like we saw with that Musiala graph, that's the fluctuation that you see. They kind of go up in the morning for a couple hours and then drop as you head into content as people expect more stuff happening on the game. So let me know down in the comments how you're feeling. Like, I'm definitely... It's frustrating, like losing coins yesterday, losing in foot champs yesterday. Definitely a frustrating day on the game, personally. Um, I did pack Diane from a random two-player pack, which was dope. But it's never fun when you're just losing coins day in and day out, and it's very demotivating. But at least I'll say this. The, mar the, the content is good, and I'll take good content crashing the market more so than any of the other reasons that it could be, because these promo cards are cheap, they're boosted, and they're pretty fun. And I'm excited for the content that is upcoming via SBCs for this promo as well but drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it comment down below if you have any questions and tell me how many coins you got once again and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot count see you guys in a video tomorrow peace out